Hello guys. Today I am working on a blanket for my girlfriend, Susan. Uh, she asked me to make a blanket for her for her living room and this is in navy and um, navy and creams, which is, you know, her complement colors. So I am almost done with this. I have a little bit more crocheting to do and then I'll show you how it looks. So I finished it. I, I went ahead and I put an edging on it and it, it turned out absolutely beautiful. Uh, let me give you a close up. Good morning guys. I wanted to show you what my garden is looking at. It's been about a week. We've had zero rain and I'm starting to see the effects of it. You could see down here the hostas are getting a little crunchy around the edges. Some of my plants are falling flat but I honestly think that was um, one of the cats in the neighborhood chasing a mouse because I've seen that happen too. So but there's a couple flat spots here and I think that's really just from the wildlife playing. But because we've had a drought, I think I'm going to come in and trim some of these so the energy um, doesn't go to waste while there's no water coming. Um, and, I, and I'm going to save some seeds from these guys because my daughter Shane wants to try growing them next year. And now maybe it won't be bad to trim them down because we do have some new growth coming in here also. Anyway, but this is kind of what things are looking at. These guys are coming back here. Let's see, these are still coming in strong, but I don't understand why they're such a faded color. So maybe there's some nutrients the soil needs to get those colors to pop. Because those colors pop and these don't, and it makes no sense. These should be more orange like this one here. Anyway, but I have a baby, a different variety of Black Eyed Susans here that's not doing well. Look at what this is doing down here. That one is looking great. So I do have a couple different varieties of them. I don't know which is what, um, but I'm gonna come out here very soon and trim these guys down. Mexican petunias though, these are looking lovely. Look at them. You know, in the day lilies, I mean, oh, you just, you can't be disappointed with that. I don't care who says they're weed or garbage plants. They are such an accent to a garden. I mean, just look. Mexican petunias are doing great. It's just covered with all the little pink flowers now. There's a bumble already visiting. I put a coneflower seedling back here that was doing well. It's not doing as well now. It's that lack of rain and I'm not gonna come out here and babysit it every day. But I did put a purple heart out here and that's doing fine. Reason being is these guys have very thick leaves and they hold a lot of water. So it's easier for that one at this point in time to you know, do without. So this little black eyed Susan's doing good. He gets more shade though, because I've got the carport here. Flowers. Oh, look you guys, you could see where I made all my trims. Looking good, it's looking good. Look at all that fresh growth coming in there though. So, so anyway, that, that's my quick review. You're going to see me out here in a few minutes trimming some of this stuff back. I'm kind of hoping if I help them stand up, then they'll start perking up and I don't have to trim them. But as you saw, these were cracking off here, which is fine.
Well, guys, there it is. There's not a whole lot that I want to do. You know, I mean, honestly, this is not so bad, especially if you're at a distance. You can't tell now that that's kind of fallen back. I'm a little bit disappointed with what's happening with the black-eyed Susans here because that one plant's almost dead. And so what I want to take the little one and put it over here with this one that's oh, it, kind of right in front of the rose bush that you could see there maybe. But I don't want to do that until it's going to rain and it looks like we're not getting any rain for another week. And I am not coming out here with a water bucket. Look, there's my baby in the grass. <laughs> it's always playful. But anyway, there's, there's my garden this week, guys.